I'm John Skinner, and this supports my book, Fishing the Bucktail. I'll have links to all of the gear in the description of the video. All right, I want to bring home some fish for dinner. So uh, the limit is three blackfish at 16 inches. So I want to get those three. I'm going to start on a known rock, uh, one that I found very well before. And uh, then I want to search around with the side scan sonar a little bit and uh, look for some new territory. All right, so I've cut the main motor, and I'm approaching the spot with the trolling motor. I figured I might as well go up on it nice and quiet. If you look at the fish finder to the left, uh, you'll see the structure starting to appear. And, uh, yeah, it's a big rock, and, and here we go. It's just lighting up the screen. Um, I'll show it later in the video, but I've got the handheld remote in my hand at this point. Getting right over the structure, I'm hitting the anchor button, and then the trolling motor using the spot lock feature will anchor the boat on that spot and uh, oh boy it just couldn't be any easier and um, you get to be exactly where you want to be. Alright so I'm digging into my bucket of Asian crabs. These things have been in this bucket a couple of weeks um, and that's a bonito head I had in there for them to eat. And, yep so they'll uh, live a long time and I've also got green crabs. And whenever I've got green crabs I start with those. You see I've got a half a crab there. Uh, this is not my first drop. I've been on the spot uh, just a little bit over five minutes got a bunch of little bites and uh, it's typical that it, it takes a couple of minutes for the bite to get going but I always start with the green crabs because they just they kind of like leave a slick in the water when you drop them in the water if you look you see like a little oil slick on the water so I feel like it really gets some scent going and uh, now that I'm like five six minutes into the trip um, yeah these things are going to start hitting and uh, I'll get into a good bite I've got very little current uh, right now, and so I'm using a three-quarter ounce SNS John Skinner Blackfish Porgy jig, and uh, there, yeah, nice hit. Way well, just picked it up and moved with it. You know what? It's pretty typical to miss those first couple when you first set up, because a lot of times um, you, you get the smaller ones until it really gets going. And yeah, all right. So uh, this is a start, and uh, good to feel a blackfish on there. But uh, this one's going to go back. All right, you might have noticed when I pulled up on the rock, the, it was really like 22 feet of water. And what do you see? It's, it's 13. And this is a feature of using the trolling motor that I'm learning is that, yeah, it's really easy to get on top of the structure, but then you end up anchoring yourself on top of the structure. And I feel like that's what I'm doing here. Like I'm dropping down. I feel like I'm not getting all the way to the bottom, like it's, it's, it's sitting on top of the rock. I've hit the anchor button to take off the spot lock. I'm going to let myself drift back just a couple of feet until I see some kind of change on the fish finder, you know, even 14, 15 feet, just a couple of feet different, and then I'm going to hit that anchor button again and re-anchor. Now look, there's a feature called jog. There you go. There's a the, the fish finder change. So I've moved back a little bit. There's a feature where you can jog uh, five feet left, right, forward, backward. Um, yeah, I could do that. I didn't. Um, I just decided to just disengage the spot lock for a few seconds, let the current drop me back off the rock. Because I've noticed I've done this a couple of times since having the trolling motor, is I'll anchor right on top. And, uh, you know, now I feel like I'm just going to be slightly off the edge of the rock, just a little bit down current, uh, exactly where I want to be. Even though the fish finder is still saying like 14, 15 feet. Um, you know, I'll, I'll know as I'm dropping this crab down how long it takes me to get to the bottom. I'll get a good feel for um, whether I'm off the edge of the rock or I'm still on top of it. Oh, there we go. That's the one. <laughs> Come on up. That is dinner. Oh, nice. Let's see. So that's interesting. As soon as I drop back a couple of feet, got off the top of the rock. Uh, I've got a nice one, and uh, yeah, I'm going to really make sure this one's a, a keeper. It, it's uh, like 
almost two inches over. There. Almost 18, 17 and a half. All right, and this is the uh, very next drop. All right, sure looks like uh, fish on the fish finder. All right, this is a good one to zoom in on. Uh, you have to wait through a lot of tiny hits. It's like, you know, small bagal, sea bass, blackfish, whatever. Um, just you know, like chomping away, but it's just like, uh, it's just noise. Um, you gotta wait for those harder hits and what you're really waiting to feel is that the jig's gonna move. They're gonna pick it up and swim away with it and uh, yep it, sometimes you have to wait a minute or so um, yeah I like to leave the shell on the crab so that those little guys don't just take all the bait yeah you saw a nice sharp hit um, so yeah now there's a black fish there All right, this one's really close. I told myself I'm keeping those first three 16-inch plus fish this trip. Uh, but this is not one of them. This one's going to go back and I uh, have to find myself one larger one. Okay, I've got the bite going well here. Uh, going to dig into some Asian crabs. And they're really small because I've had this bucket out a couple of times, so I've kind of picked the larger ones out of there. So certainly I'm going to put two, three, sometimes four of those little crabs on the hook. And uh, yeah, they uh, fish love it. Um, yeah, I'm going to shut this down. There's no need for me to keep it on. Uh, the motor's got me where I want to be, and I'm catching some decent fish, so I don't see any point in uh, hitting the bottom with the sonar. Oh. 
All right, so there's keeper number three, my limit fish. So uh, I'm going to stay just a little bit longer um, on this rock, catch a few more. And uh, then my plan is to uh, go out with the side scan and try to find some new structure and uh, some, uh, some different spots. Uh, but there's going to be an interruption before I get to do that. one yet. Oh, wow. You're not swinging that one. Mm. Okay, here's why I bleed fish. Uh, look at all that blood that came out of three blackfish. And, uh, yeah, I don't want that in the fillets. And I'll tell you what, you get home, the fillet table stays perfectly clean when you uh, bleed those fish out. Okay, here's the interruption. Um, some stripers have popped up. I've got a bucktail rod ready to go. So uh, here we go. So despite how many of them are on the surface, uh, it looks like it should be immediate contact. Uh, hey, they are really picky. They're on tiny bait, but um, they, they'll hit the bucktail. All right, and that's a one-ounce bucktail and an otter tail bait strip, and I'll have, uh, like I said, links to all of that in the video description. So this is going to be pretty cool when you get to see um, how these next couple of fish are going to hit. So this is nice. I can use the trolling motor to kind of sneak up on the school and not spook them like I would with the uh, outboard. So, uh, yep, it's a nice stealthy approach. So I mentioned how picky they were. Um, one thing that seemed to get them to hit was if I moved it really fast. So I, a few fast cranks, let it sink. A few fast cranks, let it sink. Um, but yeah, they're they're kind of picky.
All right, back to black fishing, and I'm going to play with the side scan sonar. And what you see um, in the middle, the black part, that's actually the water column um, left and right. But what I'm really looking for is off to the sides, um, those objects that you see. Upper right-hand corner right there, they've got those long shadows. The longer the shadow, the higher the object. So, wow, that other one looks huge. So I'm using the cursor. I'm positioning the cursor right over that mark and hitting the mark button twice, that drops a GPS mark on that object that's off to the side of the boat. And now I'm going to be able to motor over there and see what's there. Whoa, that's what I'm looking for. Okay, that should work. Now using the plotter, I could just tell it to use the trolling motor, just go right to that mark. But uh, I'm going to do that with the um, hand controller so that I can look uh, exactly what's on the bottom there and anchor it um, right where I want it. All right, a brand new piece of structure. And as you can imagine, uh, you know what? Maybe nobody's ever fished this piece before because, um, you know, if it's not on the charts, there's not really a ton of boat traffic out this way. So if you go into some of the more remote areas and find a rock on your own, uh, there's a good chance nobody's ever fished it. So, hey, do the blackfish like it? That's the real question. So uh, I've been on for a couple of minutes, and here comes the first blackfish, so I'm pretty happy about that. And, uh, yeah, it's a little one, but, okay, l let's, see how, uh, uh, let's see how it's going to do, what else I can pull off it. Oh, nice. Second biggest one of the day. On a rock that I did not know was there. Oh, that is the biggest. Big. Very fat, heavy, anyway. All right, and I got a couple more keepers off that rock uh, before I went in. And hey, I'm excited to have a new spot on the machine that I can go to again. That was my first time trying to the uh, side scan to do that. So, all right, I hope you enjoyed this. And if you like these videos, please subscribe.